An intriguing pattern set up for late next week along the East Coast, and that's the focus of the feed. And we're going to continue to keep an eye on this even as we go through the rest of this week because I think the pattern is there for a storm to try to come up the eastern seaboard. Now, it's also the storm could be well offshore. And the pattern I'm about to show you, we have seen quite a bit in the last month or two um, since December. And, and, it's, it, and we haven't had really any big storms yet because the storms have formed offshore. Now, this is the pattern that I'm talking about here. What ends up happening is you have a digging or a jet stream coming on south as we head in the next week. That brings the colder air down. It's not Arctic air, but it's cold enough for snow. You're going to have energy coming in on the bottom side of this trough. The question is, does this storm move with the trough at the same speed? If it does, it goes out to sea. Or does the energy get out ahead of the trough and then the trough guided up to the coast, and then you have a cold enough air and ass for a substantial snow. That's the question that we're trying to answer for you on the feed, and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have the answers yet, but I can tell you, and here we are, well, you know, a week away, there is, a, if we're going to get substantial snow in the mid-Atlantic and northeast, the time frame is going to be at Wednesday into Thursday. Until then, I don't really see anything of consequence here. Now, what I like to do, and the reason we have the feed is I I want you to see the modeling that I seen. Remember, here on the feed, the models don't make the forecast. I do. But I use the models as a tool to make the forecast. That's the difference. All right, I want to show you some of the, and, and we're going to concentrate on that time frame Wednesday into Thursday. I want to start with some models here. And I want to begin with the American model because it was the one yesterday that was showing the snowstorm. So here we go. Let me show you Tuesday and Wednesday. Here comes your dip in the jet stream. You see it? Let's stop it. Look at this dip in the jet stream. Now, for this to become a snowstorm, this dip in the jet stream has to have a couple of things. Number one, you have to have energy that will run out ahead of this to form the storm. And then also, the tilt of this trough has to be more neutral or negative. What do I mean by that? If you have a neutral tilt, the tilt of the trough, in this case, this is the GFS. Let me show it to you. This is as we get into Friday, Wednesday. This is what I call a neutral tilt. It is tilted from north to south. A positive tilt, which is, let's go back. This is more of a positive tilt. You see how it's northwest, northeast to southwest. That's important because think about it. When this storm forms, it's going to move the way in which the upper level pattern is set up. In a neutral or a positively tilt, you get west-southwest winds. So a storm that would form here would be moved out to sea. But if you have a more of a tilt like this, neutral, where it's north-south, or even negative, where it's northwest to southeast, the steering flow is either south or even to the southwest, and then that steers the storm north. So that's what we're going to be concentrating on. So this is the American model. Here comes the dip in the jet stream. Now I'm going to stop this Thursday morning. Do you have energy coming in on the on on the southern side of this? The answer is yes. It's right here. Thursday morning. Look at here's your northern piece. Here's your southern piece. This is a real close call. The tilt is neutral, but what happens is there's just enough west southwest flow that the storm forms and moves out to sea right here. See, watch, here it goes. Oh, it's close. This says New England has a shot as we get into Thursday night, Friday. You see, that's the American model right in here. Close call, very close call for the I-95 corridor, the Virginia coast, and right up into New England. That is the American model. Now, let me show you the, uh, the Canadian model. It's similar. They all have the same thing. You've got this big dip in the jet stream. There you go. You see it? Now, as we get into Thursday morning, the Canadian a little different. First of all, it has more energy in the southern branch than the northern branch, but you notice the dip in the jet stream? You notice this dip? Look how it's oriented. It's almost what we call negative tilt. That is, it's tilted. See how it goes right there? You see how it's starting to get a little negatively tilted? What does that mean? You have a due southerly flow aloft, and what does that do? It guides the storm northward. 
this is a closer call and it has snow farther north and west because you have energy on the eastern side and that tilt is a little negative. Look at the surface map. Let's watch it. That's the upper levels. Here's the surface map. Here comes the storm. Ooh, and look at how it starts filling in snow back here across the Appalachians and then the storm goes up and it's eastern New England that would get the most. It's a close call. Lastly, the European model. Unfortunately, I don't have the, the the upper air, but this is all offshore, and I'll show. You. And the reason for that is that the trough is more like this. There's not a lot of energy, and the storm is well offshore. So the question is, what do I believe? I'm not sure yet. But this, I want to give you an area. This area in here, I think anywhere from the Appalachians in here. You've got to worry about a snow threat next week. I would have it in here. I'd have Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, Boston in the potential area. That's the potential area. Um, I, I, I don't think it's going to get far south into the Carolinas. It's not quite the time of the year for that, but that's the area to watch. Right now, I would tell you, if we get the snow, I would go Appalachians, I-81, West Virginia, I'd have Baltimore, Washington, D.C., New York City, Philadelphia, all of New Jersey, back in the central parts of New York State and Pennsylvania and up into New England. That's an area to watch. Now, it could go out to sea as well. But again, I think we have the pattern right here. This is the pattern as we get in the next week. The cascading jet stream, a storm forming, does it come up the coast or go out to sea? That's the million-dollar question, and we'll answer it on the feed.